why do people want to share information in, in, the, in the first place? And in general, we have sort of this, uh, a, this, this cycle um, that if, if you meet all of the, the aspects in this, in this cycle, uh, people are more likely to share information with you. So first, it's, it's, it's awareness raising. It's, there's actually no first because it's, it's a cycle. You may jump into different, uh, different parts of this cycle depending on the situation that you're faced with in an emergency. Um, but convincing, and we talked a lot about that, why people um, would see benefit in sharing information to you. Um, we talked about that yesterday. Um, and then if they're going to share information, uh, they want to see how you're going to add value to that information. Uh, why, is, why is sharing information with you uh, going to benefit me again? Uh, uh, and what kind of added value? Uh, are they going to, if they share their information, they're, they're going to be able to access more information? Is the analysis that you're a, uh, able to provide to that information, is that going to be the added value? Um, are you going to be able to make a map out of that information? Is that why they, they, they want to share? So there's many different reasons. Uh, uh, for sharing, but the added value aspect of it needs to, to be in there, and then, and then they'll see the benefit in that. The second is, is the turnaround time. If, if uh, and we talked about surveys yesterday, uh, a survey took place, the, uh, the forms were put on a doorstep, and there they sat. And so turning around that, uh, that group of surveys into decisions that were going to affect the lives of people that actually participated in that survey, it wasn't there. It, it, and that's why the whole exercise ended up being a, a complete waste of time and, and, and frankly detrimental to the people that participated in the survey in the first place. So you need to quickly get that information back. And there's, there's three main components in uh, in information management. The, the policy and standards that's, that's around. Um, we talked about standard operating procedures yesterday and the different policies and principles that, that guide the management of information. Of course, there's capacity building or, or training. That's in, in forums like this. That's on the ground in the field, uh, building the capacity of people to manage information. Um, and, and that's in different UN forums uh, uh, as well that, that train up the staff that are needed uh, to manage information and raise awareness uh, in different offices and operations that information management is, is inherent in your, your job, in your position. Uh, and and that's, a, that's a big activity. And finally, the systems. Uh, historically, um, uh, we jump straight to the systems. Uh, it's this software that you need to develop, uh, it's this web platform, uh, it's this website, and so on and so forth. Um, without, the, without paying too much attention to these other aspects. And then we found that, oh, well, the system, no one uses it. That's a great, that's a great platform, but we still don't have very good information on there because we hadn't developed the, the previous two. And, and, and the ultimate goal, of course, is, is to uh, provide that those services and with the ultimate goal uh, of affected populations. 